right, so today we're going to show you our harvest. Hi everybody, Cindy here from Pathways Homestead and the air conditioner's running and the washing machine's running. So we just got home from a fabulous family vacation, trip, whatever. We went to see our family in Missouri and spend some time with them. And Gary got to go fishing at Bennett Springs and all kinds of things. And tomorrow I'll have a video up about that. And just, it will be short. I didn't do a whole lot of filming. I just kind of took a break and um, was very lazy. I enjoyed it. My mother-in-law took great care of me and spoiled me rotten. Thank you, Susan. And um, so come home and guess what we have? Our San Marzano tomatoes ripened and are going crazy. And they do have blossom and rot on the first um batch that we're picking do have blossom in rot but for those type of tomatoes I will have be able to salvage a little bit of the tomato so here we are with our colander full of tomatoes I have probably another at least half a colander full which will be perfect for my slow cooker so um, crock pot so some of them are a little more severe and others are not and so even the ones that are severe and I won't get much out of them even I mean I had a few that I just like this one that I just automatically will throw away they're not going to be wasted they're going to be fed to an animal probably the chickens so they will not be wasted a little bit of water in my crock so that they won't stick until they make a little bit of juice and I'm just and I've rinsed everything washed it I'm just going to take off what's damaged from the blossom end and as you can see you've got this much on this tomato I've got this much that's still good so that's going to go in the scrap bucket to go to the chickens I'm going to cut that in half and just throw it in the pot and cook it down it's going to cook for several hours this guy is super soft and probably rotted in the middle so he's just going to go straight into the bucket all right so I have the tomatoes all Cut up and ready to go. They're going to cook down in the crock pot for a while. And don't forget, I did put a little bit of water in the bottom of these. Since these are a paste tomato, they don't have a high moisture content. They're more of a meat tomato. So, meaty tomato. So, I've got them in here to cook down. They're going to cook down for several hours. I am going to keep the lid on them. Later, I will vent the lid. But for right now, I'm just going to set it on there. And I also have blackberries Gary picked some blackberries today so we're gonna get some blackberry jam made I have a lady that's requested um, blackberry jam and she buys it from me every year so got that going as well so I'm just gonna have a day of canning it looks like all right so we have our tomatoes cooked down I'm going to run them through the food mill into this pot and I'm going to be lazy today and I'm just going to add a thing of Mrs. Wages pasta sauce make packet to make spaghetti sauce and then I will hot bath them and seal them up if you don't mind the peels and the seeds you can just hit this with an emulsion em if you don't mind the peels and the seeds, you can just hit it with an immersion blender and immersion blender and um, just puree it up. But I um, I don't mind the peels and seed, seeds, but some of my family members don't like them. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it through the food meal. Doesn't take much. It just goes right on out of there. Whoops. And this will get the majority of the seeds out and most and the peels. It, it'll keep the peels from going through. But you'll still get the pulp and the juice.
as you can tell, I run it around clockwise a couple of times, or some several times, and then I run it counterclockwise a few times to scrape the pulp and the, not the pulp, to scrape the skins up off of the bottom. And that just helps keep, that just helps keep the juices and pulp coming through the bottom. So if you get a layer of the skins down, it kind of forms a nice watertight barrier and you don't get your pulp and skins through as easily. All right, and that's it. I didn't get any more out of it. I'm gonna run it counterclockwise a couple times to scrape off the stuff that's on the bottom. And you can even use your rubber scraper to get what little bit of pulp might be in there and then this is just going to go in the scrap bucket and it'll be fed to either the hogs or the chickens. I really like to feed it to my chickens. They really enjoy it. Right. I'm going to turn some heat on. Get that going. And I'm going to go gather my um, canner and some jars. Have our hot water canner boiling. I've got extra boiling water on the back here in case I need it to cover my jars. I have got my um, spaghetti sauce mixed up and it is to a boil. I've got my towel down to protect my jars. My jars are clean and sanitized and I am going to start ladling this in. And you all know, if you've been watching any of my Canon videos, my signature is up to um, this little lip that's right here on, on the neck of the jar. That's my favorite measuring spot. It's about an inch headspace. The next step is to wipe these rims off and get the lids right the rims off and get the lids and rings on. A damp, a damp rag here. I am going to run it around the mouth of these jars. Make sure there's no debris. We'll put two lids on. Two rings. Finger tight. You don't want to over tighten your jars. Check my water is boiling. I'm just going to put this little jar of leftover of sauce that won't fit. It's not a full jar, so I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. Time to put our jars in the water. take our boiling water over here since it's not full and we're going to pour it in here and we want enough water to cover the jars about an inch over the lids and that is going to be perfect there we're going to put the lid on let this return to a boil it won't take very long and then we're going to process these quarts 10 minutes and if they were pints we would process them five um so that's we're gonna wait till this comes to boil and then we will let them boil 10 minutes and we'll be back okay so my timer went off and i'm gonna remove the lid i going to lift these jars We're going to let them rest here on the countertop overnight. And if they don't seal, then we'll put them in the refrigerator. If they seal, we'll mark them, put them on the shelf as part of our stockpile for the coming year. Thank you guys for watching, and I pray you have a blessed day.